<laughs> All right. What's the link to the thing on? We live uh, yet? Or no. Yeah, we definitely live, bro. Oh, we. Oh, oh, hey, what's yeah, up? We, 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 what's up, man? Turn down. How y'all doing, man? <laughs> Devin, Devin, what you over I there see watching? Jones in the building, probably still in line at the Apple store. <laughs> <laughs> probably right. so. Here come my probably kids. Here they come. What up, Jones? Hi. Okay, the queen has arrived. Of course. Uh oh, uh-uh. she, she. Okay, just... here we go. Yeah. Hey, oh, what's up? The queen has arrived. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, hi CJ. Hi, CJ. Hi, Devin. Hi, Devin. What up? All right, go ahead. Give me a kissy, boom, kissy. Daddy streaming. Bye bye. Boom kissy. Bye. <laughs> right. Hey, somebody uh, put out from the Creator Cafe uh, tweet uh, Twitter account. I Man, you the only one with the pass. Nah, that ain't no <laughs> lie. That's a lie. <laughs> That's not. You enough. are absolutely lying. <laughs> is, any, is anybody here yet? Let me get back to it. We got Joan in the building. Oh, Joan in here. It's just gonna be us and Joan kicking it today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Be- Jones still in line. At, it's your fault. The reason why ain't nobody in here yet is your fault. Nah, you don't know why it's your fault. Because we ain't been consistent. Because y'all haven't been. You want to know why y'all haven't been consistent? Uh, just ask me why. Uh, uh, why, Terry? Ask me why I haven't been consistent. Why, Terry? Because y'all, y'all was at Viz Summit. What was I? <laughs> <laughs> I was here available okay, to stream. Right now. Hold on. Let me. Uh... All right, definitely gonna hit the tweet out. But yeah, man, uh man. You know why y'all was at Vid Summit and I wasn't? Why? Be- Never mind. Just <laughs> you know. <laughs> just you know, whatever. Anyways, hi how, how everybody doing tonight, man. I uh yeah, I gotta good. apologize in advance. I've been a little sick the last two days. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. That's why I can't breathe. You wanna know who got me sick? This little monster yeah, right here. Hey, that that kids, are drain, kids are drain buckets. What a <laughs> she, face. She's happy about it. She's all right. cheesing about it. <laughs> Kissing me and hugging all on me all the time. Ah, man. All right, man. Let's, what's up, man? We got a couple people. We got a couple people in the back now. Um, oh, oh, back, hey, hey, what up? oh, hey, what's good, RP3 my brother? Tech, what up? And, of course, what's Joan up? in the Orlando. building. Crazy Rod said the boys are back. You absolutely right, Jack. Oh uh, yeah, player. You know we've been <laughs> been been out and about. Why don't y'all tell us what y'all been doing? Why y'all haven't been available? Why is it y'all haven't been available? Why don't y'all tell us why? Hey man, I've been working, brother. Terry, yeah, like, where y'all was at? Uh, uh, but Terry, act like he ain't never been unavailable ever, not right. once. Uh, but yeah, we no, we no, were no, at uh, Viz Summit. You know, Viz Summit. Uh, we, we'll have to uh, talk y'all about that. Y'all too. At a segment, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the creator, ca- creator cafe went, or, or it was, it was like uh, two oh, thirty. Okay, okay. So, so, you know, okay. we had you there in spirit, Terry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, Daddy wasn't there, right? <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> Daddy. Okay, we on the same page. We on the same page. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I pro- I promise though. Uh, next visit summit is creator cafe one thousand percent for sure. Well. Uh oh, Terry went underwater. Rightfully so. <laughs> Talking all that nonsense. Hey, you want to know why you want to invent something? Be <laughs> <That's> underwater. <laughs> uh, but uh, yo, uh, you know, tonight we're gonna talk creator stuff, tech stuff, tech mixed with creation. You know, that's yeah, where we're going. We talking tech. That's, that's what everybody wanted. Yeah, one hundred thousand percent. We got a crowd in the building. You know. Yes, yes, babe. Hi. She wants to say hi again. Hello, what's up? What's popping? They said hello. What's up? What's popping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Obviously, we have a fourth member of Creative uh, Cafe. Uh, uh, Hold on. Gotta get her her Hold dedicated box, please. Uh, oh, but is she is she into tech though? Is she tech? Is she tech savvy? What's she say? What'd you say? Today, today I'm putting a cafe on in my room. Oh, okay. You're going to go put it on in your room? Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. Go put the cafe on your room. Leave me alone. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Get out of here. Turn. <laughs> true. True. Right. Knock it. Turn up. What's up, everybody? 
Turn up, turn up. Welcome back, <laughs> the Creator Cafe. We are finally oh, back. I got you know, the do-rag. Do Hold up, play. I forgot. DJ See. got the do-rag. Oh, I got man. the bandana. Devin got the receding hairline. But listen, <laughs> we all back. The boys are hey, back man, in the building. So uh, we already did the roll call or whatever. Um, tonight, like CJ said, we're going to talk about tech. Um, I know we've been kind of inconsistent the last two months. The reality is, is we all have been in some way, shape, form, or fashion, either out, out of town, working. I've been doing a lot of dad stuff, all of my kids in sports and stuff like that. So uh, it's been a little bit difficult for all of us to kind of link up uh, and get on the same page. But hopefully this spells the end of it. Uh, I'm not taking none of the blame. I'm going to blame it all <laughs> on them two right there. It's their fault. Well, I mean, look, man, at, at the crowd should be uh, understanding and happy. Like, the fact that us missing this is just for us to forward ourselves as creators. You know what I mean? We doing what Creator Cafe was all about. So, right. you know. So, yeah. You know. That's right. Yeah. Y'all Have y'all noticed my unusually faded gray t-shirt tonight? Uh -oh. You see that? That's gray. It looked black, like faded black. I mean, black. Black. It's, oh, it's like go. real faded. This shirt is like six years old. That's awesome, though. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, look, we got two more. Savant, Zach, Zach, everybody's in the building. Zach is doing a great giveaway. Zach, I meant to retweet that earlier. Right. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that after our trip. We're giving away some Nomad stuff, man. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, dope. Nomad, nomad is a dope. Him nomad nomad are giving away some stuff. Yeah, Nomad is dope. What up, Chuck, if you're watching? <laughs> Why do I hear yeah, echo on myself? Do I got uh, audio coming up, man? Yeah, Chuck, I know we don't really know each other, but, you know, we're hot. Hey, hey, Chuck. Who got the audio turned up, man? It's one of y'all. We got you. I'll introduce you to Chuck. Chuck, cool dude, man. Yeah, I still got to meet him in person. That'd be dope, though. Hey, cool dude. All right, so let's, let's get into this meat and potatoes, man. Let, let's go ahead and get it started. Let's go ahead and get it started because it been, I, we need to go ahead and address this bad boy right here. Let's go ahead and talk about we this. Talking about the pixel? Hold on. Let me let's see talk about it first. Yo, there we go. Pixel gang. Team oh, Pixel. Hashtag hey. <laughs> in the building. <laughs> now, Check we all have. Uh, I got. So I got the Rain K joints. They already. They hooked me up. They sent me I some fire. I'm caseless. Yeah, you know, That's I don't have. I'm K. No, no. Uh, 100,000%. Let me just say this. This is probably like the best caseless phone it is. on the market. 100%. Oh, I don't even yeah. want to put a case on it. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Bro, I'm not going to lie. Devin not put a case on it. Hey, Mark. Devin. Devin lost the Devin lost the Pixel 3A and he lost the Pixel 4 XL. <laughs> <laughs> Kick him out of Team Pixel. Um, but yeah, this uh, I I will I will agree, man. Every time I put a case on this phone, I take it back off because it just it feels that good in hand. I don't know what it is, but it just looks damn good and it feels good and. I'm looking at my stream on my phone, and am I underwater? Uh, for a hot second, you was, but you're not underwater. I can hear you. Okay, good. Uh, but yeah, I I really like. Hey Terry, I, I, I let, me, let me just say this, Terry, real quick, man. What's up, man? You're lighting trash today, like Devin lighting trash. What's what's going on? Don't, don't try to blow down on me because you pulled out the aperture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have the aperture. Oh wait, low key, it's just this little aperture light though. It ain't the big boy. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and throw throw my Amazon light down a little bit. <laughs> hey, this hey, is how, the how, how does webcam looking, y'all? Is this, is this webcam straight? Hey, you know what I mean? I really don't know what my picture. Is. <laughs> this ain't that MacBook trash webcam. I'm, yeah. yeah, oh, Devin, no, I don't I'm know where he's at. Hey, when Devin <laughs> tell you his review, he lying because he ain't even using it. He ain't got it. <laughs> he ain't got it. <laughs> oh man, he just sold it on the black market. Oh, well, play. See, me, I've been rocking the Pixel as my daily driver, and I, I'll <laughs> guess, I guess, I guess, I'll give you um like what's been good and bad for me, real quick. Um, I think the Pixel, I I didn't think I was gonna like it this much coming from a galaxy device because galaxy have a lot of a lot of extra stuff on top but you really like you really don't understand how smooth of an experience the pixel is until you switch from like a galaxy to a pixel it, i know that sounds difficult or you may not like it, it may not make sense but it's it's like night and day man you think the galaxy is fast until you pick up a pixel you think the galaxy is smooth until you pick up a pixel you know, with the Galaxy, you would have like micro stutters here and there and weird glitches between apps and stuff like that. And you 
the 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 pixel to me has been like the iphone or android almost um <clears throat> so from a creator perspective um i i just wish it had airdrop <laughs> i just gotta i got a, no, I got a video right. coming about that <laughs> but you gotta get an iphone for but that. the challenge is still there the challenge is still there it's the same challenge i'm sick of having to email myself pictures and you, you um, know what i think this the semi solution until there's an airdrop who got their speakers up I, I hear myself echoing. No, CJ, you you are, you are clipping. You clipping, CJ. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Okay, so uh, what about? Uh, oh, is that probably why I hear an echo? What about now? Yeah, probably. So. Oh shit. Man. Yeah, you better now. All right. So uh, I was gonna say using like the you gotta use all the Google crap to make it kind of like transfer over. You know what I mean? But yeah, they do. They definitely need an AirDrop equivalent. All of these companies, all need, of them need one. Every single phone manufacturer should be trying to develop that. Uh. Yeah, I think the perfect solution would be if they could get if there could be like a universal airdrop to where is I can be able to right. from any like phone. Let that happen, play. <laughs> like, like, they, like they want to like it though, and like, be a oh, shark. yeah. Like I think it should be one of those things where man, like it shouldn't matter what device we have. Like airdrop should just be able to work across across all devices. Period. But you know that's the Apple secret weapon right there, no doubt. Yeah, uh, Zach yeah. said you got hold up. Uh, share with Google Photos and stuff. I'm like, Google. I'm a right. tech. I'm a tech content uh, creator, and I had no clue with this. Hold on, my 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 signal might drop out for one second. Hold on, I switch from 480 to 720 something. <laughs> so uh, it's like CJ, and I think of like oh uh, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Te Zach, we in the building out here, uh, but. Yeah, that would, that would be my solution for Terry to kind of like use the Google stuff. Uh, cause I I did something similar with like Google Docs. I was like typing up like you know like video ideas and like bullet points, and then I was able to pick it up on the uh, computer just going to my Google Docs on uh, Chrome. So that g gave me a semi AirDrop slash Apple ecosystem type feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, it's just same yeah. same. I know, yeah, right? the same. Plus, the I, only other thing is too is like one thing that I will say that I don't like about when you're trying to get files and stuff like that is like when you I gotta mean, when you gotta plug in. Granted, you can plug into your laptop. Uh, uh, Terry, are, we, are we gonna let Terry back in? He backstage. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> hey, Terry, what's up, brother? You trying to get in the party? <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. Oh, like I'm outside. Like let me in. <laughs> What you do? What you do to change up? Because I see a difference. What nah, up, man? Uh, you know when you got to change the quality, bro. Yeah, when when you know some of these new routers got regular and five G, and mine was for some reason kicked oh. back to the regular. So, oh okay. Um, but yeah, I didn't know about what's crazy is I didn't know about all of this stuff that you could do with Google Photos. I, I've been avoiding Google Photos, man. I've been avoiding. It. Why is that? Just because I, I'm not really big into cloud based storage yeah, I'm on that. So, like, I, I really haven't done it. I don't even have photo sync turned on on my Pixel oh, just man. because I don't, yep. but, like, you know, I, I I guess I don't know. Part of it is ignorance. I don't really understand how it works because I never really looked into it. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, I don't want, like, all of my, this is about to sound like something that's totally not, but I don't want my browsing data and all of that stuff synced across multiple devices because, we, you know, we have children here. We have other devices here. I don't know what data is going where. Right. I tell you. I don't think I don't think nothing wrong with that. I just think it's, I don't know. It's one of those things, man. For me, it's like convenience and being able. Although we can't get those devices that have like sixty four gigs, we can't do those because sixty four gigs today is. I don't even know why they. Even yeah, uh, I said, which is I'm crazy just... because five years ago, sixty four gigs was, was lit. Like, yeah. <laughs> He was like, yo, I got 64 like, gigs. Hey, I used to get 64 <laughs> gigs. Like, man, I don't give a shit what y'all said. I could store everything. everything. <laughs> like, you want me hey. to put that for you? I got you. I got right. space. Well, it was trash then, too, though. You know, we had some <laughs> pixelated trash. Right. We was over there saving with that 64 gigs. But, but uh, I think, uh, no, nah, man, I think my take on just cloud storage, man, like, I think there's, there's certain things. Like, granted, like, if I have, like, you know, just personal photos, like, uh, you know, I just may not want up there or whatever, or pictures of my family and stuff like that may not want up there. But like, if it's just like pictures of products and that type of stuff like that, I don't mind uploading that up there. Uh, but like just personal family photos and stuff like that. Yeah, I will keep that kind of stuff private and just saved off. 
But uh, I mean, nowadays though, man, as much as we try to not be on the grid, you on the grid anyway. I mean, yeah, I get that. But I'm gonna give you an example, right? So uh -huh. when I when I hook back this phone to Google Photos, uh -huh. um, photos from like eight nine years started showing up on my Pixel. You yep. know what I'm saying? And that, not that. You know, eight nine years ago, my life was totally different. But you you see where I'm going with this? Like, oh, yeah, that's know, a player's nightmare. That's right. Right. <laughs> I, I, that was, that like, to oh, me, man. Yeah, that to me, like here I am thinking I'm deleting. Was. Right, I'm sitting here deleting you said photos. You was at <laughs> and then the next oh, day, the date stamps. Oh, right. <laughs> then the next day, his picture is popping back. Like we all metadata. <laughs> So that's, nah, that's a valid point. But, uh, but the thing is, I never uploaded those photos. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. that's, hey, that's hey, what it happened. Really it happened without you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's before they had to let you authorize. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, that's crazy. But that's why, like, so for me, like, the biggest hurdle for me, like, creatively, um, I do wish I had an SD card, even though that's that's not a necessary deal breaker. Um, because you got Android file transfer, so that's not that big of a deal. But um, it's the airdrop thing, man. I, the, the solution for it's the same in here and problem I've had everything else. As far as the other creative stuff, editing photos and stuff, I mean, like the speed of it, um, the speed is unmatched. I don't know what people are talking about when it comes to like the pixel is not a good experience. I, I don't uh, get it. Hey, man. Hey, technology snobs is lying, bro. I'm they like, lying. This, thing, lying. This, this is the first phone I think from Android that gives you like a iPhone level experience when it comes to like fluidity and when it comes to like integration and seamlessness from from the Google side of it. And this is this is kind of my argument with the Pixel. Like we all are <clears throat> all enthralled in the hardware, right? But what but what if I'm playing devil's advocate? What if the Pixel is not actually meant to be about hardware. What if the Pixel is just meant to show off Google's software intelligence? That's Thank exactly you. what their point Bro, of view is. Thank you. That's all I was trying to like to relay in my video is that people keep thinking like, what if Google is simply just in their own competition? They're not. What if they just not competing with? It? Like I said, like in now we're getting into it. Let's go. Like, for real, like, like if you think about it, like camera wise, right? Uh -oh. Everybody was going the dual camera. It's time. It's time. Everybody was going <laughs> dual camera. Google was like, "Nah, we gonna we gonna slide back, and we gonna give y'all the single lens camera." And they killed it with the single lens camera. Then everybody's going triple, lens, and nobody said a thing. Everybody was praising Google's camera, praising the phone. Oh, this is the dopest camera, whatever. Blah blah blah. Now they come and say, "Oh, we don't give y'all the ultra wide, but we still give y'all a dual lens. We give y'all the dual lens. Everybody else is going triple lens." Not everybody's complaining. It's like, but, but but let me explain why, Devin. Okay. I don't mean to cut you off. It's right, go not, ahead. Go ahead. The, the 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 whether or not they put one one lens in it or a thousand lens lenses, the Pixel is still the best stills camera in a mobile phone you can get. That's not the problem. The mm -hmm. problem is when you have other competing flagships, and I get Google. Google may not be trying they, to compete with everybody else, be, but, but 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 but. <laughs> competition is there whether you want to engage in a competition or not the facts are you're a flagship phone manufacturer manufacturer marketing this device as a flagship device so whether you want to be in competition or not you are because you put yourself there right you uh -huh. can you put yourself there even though you say you're not but you still put yourself there and mm -hmm. where where it gets sticky at is even though it is the best camera when you have the other manufacturers giving you that extra lens that's where that's where the, the, the back and forth comes from, because now from a cost proposition, a person is looking at it like, well, this phone gives me a wide angle camera and for the same amount of money. This phone does not give me a wide angle camera, even though it's not a necessity. It's not a necessity, but it is something that people are starting to want in their devices. To yeah, question, though, do you really think the average typical Consumer is really out there looking for ultra wise. I mean, that's to be debated. But but listen, but listen, but but the thing is, is from why why would you not? I, that's understandable. My, my what's what's important to me might be a telephoto. The next person may be ultra wide. The next person just may not give a shit. Right? Or how about it's like this? They just want a good camera. They don't care what the hell. They don't know nothing about why zoom they or nothing. They just that. want it to look fire. Okay, I'm let me flip this around. What if they release the iPhone 11 Pro with no wide angle? You said everybody what? would be on fire. People would have been on. People would have been on fire. 
hey, regardless man. on something. <laughs> like, when it comes to Apple, I'm starting to get the reality of like, check that. But here's, Yo. but here's the thing, though. Like, with, with the Pixel, right? As we know, Google has more data on everybody than any other company in the world. Their data centers alone are worth billions of dollars alone that people can't have access to that they have. So I'm sure the decision for them to say, let's just keep the telephoto lens and not give them the wide angle lens. I'm sure they have data to back that decision up because that's a big decision for them to make to say, we either a give huge this decision. or we're going to give you that. That's a big decision. Knowing where the market was going. And I agree with you, whether they want to compete. Yeah, they are competing to some extent. So you know what I guarantee though, like they right. did this time next year, they're gonna probably have an ultra wide everything they get they criticized for, they bring the next year. Yep. So, so, so listen, wh whether or not they have all of the cumulative data they want to, guess what? People a lot of people are still complaining about not having it. Yeah. So, and that's not just from creators, that's people who are seeing this now. iPhone, and this is the this is where the issue comes in. Now they're seeing the iPhone 11, which whether we like it or not, sets the benchmark for what mobile phones should have, right? Now we see the iPhone 11 now advertise a wide angle. So we know that Apple controls the market when it comes to mobile. So now everybody's saying wide angle, wide angle. And then you got the Pixel that just came out that doesn't have it. Well, so now actually, it, this year, <clears throat> Samsung's been controlling the market of what it should, what, what phones should be. For well, well, Apple just stole it right back from a photography perspective. Oh, so yeah, I agree. No, that, that's I guess that's what I meant. But I guess I guess the point I'm trying to make is now the masses, the majority of people have iPhones when they start seeing iPhone wide angle, iPhone wide angle. And then the pixel shows up, even though the freaking camera is amazing in it, the fact that it doesn't have a wide angle to me is just a missed opportunity from Google. It's like, why wouldn't you put that in there? Even if your data says otherwise, you know, people could want it. So even if they don't like, like, why not give people the option instead of now giving them something else to say, oh, where well, the iPhone has this and, and now you can't get it in the pixel, whether or not, you know, it's all about perspective and optics, as everybody keeps saying. Now mm -hmm. it looks like the pixel is missing something compared to the competition, even though technically it's not. You I get what I'm trying to say? No, I agree to that. I just think I just think that Google is and I've just been watching their moves. I just think that they kind of in their own league with stuff. I don't think that they granted, like you said, people are going to come. They're going to put them up against whatever. And people are saying so. That's one thing. I had a person comment in my on my last video and they talked about flagship. They was like, well, now this is a now that when they're getting into the flagship prices and it's like, what do we define now as a flagship price? Like what's considered a flagship price? Is it seven hundred dollars? Is it eight hundred dollars or is it a starts at a thousand dollars considered flagship? I don't even think it's price. I think it's the man. The manufacturer is telling us what's the flagship or not. What's their top of the line? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, Pixel technically it's at seven, it's eight seven ninety nine, right? Eight ninety nine. I think it's like eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Something like you that. You know that that's all it ain't cheap. That's it's not. Cheap. It's not cheap. It's no, definitely it not cheap. cheap. Uh, I don't know, man. I just I, I don't. I haven't missed the wide angle one bit, honestly. When I, I, I had that's all been my yeah, I, yeah. I haven't used it. No, <laughs> I, I, I want to ask you a question though. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. both got Pixels and y'all been using it, and y'all get into your user bag of using this phone. Do you even think about a wide angle lens? Do you even care? Like, are you just enjoying oh. the experience of having a pixel? I haven't enjoyed the experience. I haven't used it. And I think the normal, and I think that's what. I don't know if Devin is though, because I ain't see, I ain't seen. My, I don't got no, no, no. I don't <laughs> got, hey, I've been posting. I got some photos. I nah, just, I'm look, 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 where, where, that, where that pixel for at, play? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got it right here, man. We out here, baby. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 I got it, man. I got it. Second, you know, I was like, oh, man, <laughs> my brody. No, no, no. Yeah, I ain't lose, gonna lie though. I did you lose, lose the three Don't lose. No, I did point, lose man. the three A though. I ain't even gonna. I have no idea. You gonna find it? I remember. I swear. No, you ain't losing it. to your house somewhere. Just yeah. bro, I, it's somewhere. It. That mug is gone. Yeah, I have no idea what my three. You know, you know what else I hate about the pixel? Though? Now this part I'm not backing down on. I can understand. <laughs> uh oh, can let's go, Terry. Yeah, I can understand <laughs> the compromises with the wide angle, etc. Listen, man. Uh huh. Listen, we are in the age of mobile creation. We're in the age of mobile creation. Video. 
video. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not saying. I'm not saying you gotta. Sir, have you ain't 4K even gotta 60. back down from this one because I'm bro, in agreement with you, bro. Bro, you ain't gotta have 4K <laughs> 60, but I should not, man. I'm not gonna lie, and I I'm not gonna use offensive words because y'all know how I get out. But um, be you, brother. Uh yeah. I mean, I, I think the <laughs> Pixel video camera quality is just uh, it's not there. Just say it's trash. I'll be honest. It like, is trash. We got I like there's some things we gotta hold these companies accountable for. You're like, right. Like again, whether or not we I got do, them or not, the I, video yeah. is trash. Like I I yeah. I like it. I like I think it can get the job done. Can it get the job done? Yes, you can shoot a decent video on it. Can you shoot the same <laughs> quality and level of video? Because we got to think of it from an average person, not from these 4K mirrorless cameras that quality that we see, and even from the iPhone perspective. Can it shoot a decent video quality on the Pixel? Yes. Can it shoot iPhone level quality? Not even no. close. It can't even. It's not even. Not even in the same ballpark as that. But like I said, my video. I think what they're doing is I think that they're taking their time and they're perfecting it because a lot of these other companies like your Apple's and your Samsung, they've been in the phone game for years. But let's be real though, Samsung's video isn't. I mean, it's good. But it's it ain't out great. The back. The front yeah. facing is the problem on most uh, phones. And if you're recording yourself, the front facing is more light because you can see yourself. Yep. And iPhone does it decent and good. But then, you know, all the other manufacturers, when it comes to the front facing, they're not, not so good, you know? Yep. Uh, but, but here, okay, so let's go back. Then you effectively can't put yourself in flagship category. Because, look, flagships got to have a certain, like, they got to they gotta select boxes and there's only one flagship then then i mean somebody add in the sound effects uh, <laughs> i don't have no sound effects play no, no. <laughs> i'm uh, only saying that it, i'm only saying that in response to uh something t said uh, hold on. oh yeah let's get to these comments proud and he said, in today's world the video camera is slack and that's I that's what we are about. That, that's where we're at again. It's uh, not that it's not that the video is not capable. It's compared to other devices around the same price point, and you're marketing this as a flagship. You should at least be able to go toe to toe in every category. I get not every, you know every phone is perfect. All phones have their disadvantages and stuff like that. But at this price point, it shouldn't be an afterthought. Even if they can't perfect it, put a little bit more into it. You know what I'm saying? Put a little bit more into it so that people who are getting it don't feel ripped off. I guarantee you, bro, not one person has picked up a Pixel 4 and said, this video was great. Okay, I'm going to put something into perspective. I, I thought I, base I, model I, I, seven I, I, nine great camera. Hey, look, cra Crazy Rozilla had a cool comment where he said the Pixel equals the Switch is different. And then he said the Note and like the Galaxy phones and iPhone are like the PS4 and Xbox One. Um, uh, all right, I'm, uh, gonna put, I'm gonna put something into perspective. Real okay, quick. and this I, is, I, I take and, that. And this is what this is what I've been trying to convey. So the Pixel has been coming out since October 4th of 2016. iPhone has been making phones since June 29th of 2007. Samsung has been making Galaxy devices since June 29th of 2009. We and we got to give companies time to no. develop these devices, bro. Like that, I, yeah, honestly, yeah. that's how I feel. Because look, look at the. So you giving them a pass? Is what you say? I'm not. I'm not giving them a pass that's because I'm, like I'm not saying. I'm pass. not. No, here's here's the thing, Tim. The video camera, yes, it's trash. I 100 percent agree. It is not up to the standard of what I would like to see out of that phone. And honestly, I'll be straight up. It was my biggest, biggest disappointment. To the pixel when they literally we were sitting in the hotel room and we were sitting there watching the whole event and i'm sitting there and i'm amped. i'm sitting there waiting waiting for them to say all right let's get to the video camera and i'm expecting the same software the stuff that they was doing with the with the actual photos but then i said when they didn't say nothing i was disappointed so i had to take a step back and say all right cj I don't know where CJ don't win. <laughs> Everybody go ahead, drop the hashtag. Drop the hashtag, y'all. <laughs> no, but but I, I'm looking at, I have to take a step back and I have to say, man, Google, 
really just got into really because I know they had the Nexus and all of that, but Google really got into the phone game in 2016. iPhone have had a huge jump as far as how to put these phones together, how to actually develop the market research on what people want, what people don't want. And the same thing with Samsung, they've had years, even from 2009. That's a 10 year head start on phones from a 2016 when they've only had three years. That's fair. Lower the price then. Okay. Would you lower the price if somebody's still buying your product or would you make that profit? Uh, I mean, and in, in that, if you want to ask me that question, who is it about then? The, 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 the bottom line or the, or the customer? It's never about the customer. <laughs> Look at Apple. I mean, we know that. Customer. Yeah, we, we know, know that. that. It's but, never but, about the but, customer. It's but, all... but perspective is everything, right? bro. Look at this. Look at and this go. This is a great segue into the into our before we get to it. AirPods. No way. And I'm gonna say this in my. I'm point. not paying no fifty for no headphones. That, that, that's my point. And I'm no. gonna say that in. I'm gonna say that in my video. Hey, CJ. I'm sure, welcome, hey, welcome CJ. Welcome back, everybody. CJ. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Welcome CJ back. To the <laughs> And I'm going to say that in my video. I mean, is the AirPods going to be worth $250? No, nah, probably not. Hell no. No, they're not going to be worth it. But, you know, if people are buying it, I'm going to keep my price where it's at and keep my margins high. I, I mean, I guess. We we to beat the Pixel, man. The, at the end of the day, the Pixel, Pixel is dope. It's a, it's a dope phone. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's, it is my favorite next to probably the Galaxy S10, probably my favorite Android device of all time. But I it, can't put it over. I can't put it over the Note 10 though. I still love my. Note. I think the Note 10 is still like CJ says in his videos. The Note 10 is still the king. Yeah, I don't I, care I, what anybody says. The Note 10 is still a king. That yeah. doesn't mean that it's the champion. It's still yeah. the king, but it doesn't mean it's the champion. I honestly think the champion award goes to and y'all know I'm majorly uh, Android. I think it goes to iPhone 11 Pro this year, like hands down. So okay, so give me give me your one two three. I, I want to hear from both y'all. What's y'all one two? Three? But, but how are we how are we waiting this one two three? I, what, like, whatever what, whatever you want it to be. Okay, you want I, I want to know let's, your let's one two. Let's go first because he's been largely quiet. So CJ on mute right now. <laughs> the I'm engineer back. on mute. That's, 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 the engineer on mute. CJ over there dropping bars on his mic. Hey, first of all, it's a, it's a new mic. I'm trying. I'm testing and I'm trying to uh, get used to. So I gotta learn how to uh, work it. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Nah, I ain't going first. Y'all going first. I'll go first. <laughs> I'll go first. All right. From a, I think, like, features, well, okay. I'll, I'm going to still say I think the iPhone 11 Pro took the cake as the most complete, user-friendly, easily accessible. I can pick this phone up and create something awesome. It's still fast. It's still, you know, it's just a complete user-friendly experience. Everything mm -hmm. just works and it's good at every single thing it does, especially the Pro Max with that freaking battery in it. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think the oh, note that battery is crazy. Yeah, that is nuts. nuts. I think I think what Apple did with these cameras um is is nothing short of amazing considering the size of the sensor and how much software engineering it has to go into it. They did a great job. I think the Note 10 still takes the king as the overall device, <clears throat> just from a hardware perspective, from a features perspective, from a power user's perspective. So I'll give that to the Note 10. From an average consumer, tech enthusiast, but not tech geek perspective, definitely the iPhone 11 Pro. And then after that, I'll give it to the Galaxy S10. Mm, going to S10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, say that again. Number one, iPhone. So I think I'm gonna give the overall award to the iPhone 11 Pro. Hey, number one, quit trying to sugarcoat it. What right, what's the number one? All right, what's the one? Number one, iPhone 11. I don't even got an iPhone 11 Pro, but I think iPhone 11 Pro. <laughs> what's, your, what's your two? Two Galaxy Note 10. Okay. And there three. What's the third? Third one. Gal uh, uh, Galaxy S10. Ooh, no Ooh, pixel. Four. Pixel and get in there and that all. Okay. Wait, uh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're right. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, 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 that's that's not, I'm not saying that because I got a Pixel 4. It's, it's honestly be like, I totally forgot about the Pixel 4, which is crazy. It's in my head, <laughs> it's in my head right now. The entire night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still gonna put the Pixel 3, the Pixel 4 at number three. 
I'm gonna put it at number three. Okay, that's fair. Not Maybe because I, I think it's a great experience. <laughs> I just feel like it's a great phone, but I think I think comparatively speaking, it is incomplete. Mm. I, oh, okay. Where's the incompletion? It's just you. You only complain about the video camera. What's the other? What, what uh, else? I, th I think there's I think there's a few missed things. Number one, I think uh, comparatively speaking, again, battery size. Okay. They're at least two thousand milliamps short of. The other two, like the I Note still, 10, I still go all day playing. I yeah, I mean, now, I now, 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 I could still get five hours of screen on time, even with 90 hertz forced. So it's, it's not that I'm complaining. It's yeah, definitely I, consistent, though. I will say that because I've been is. seeing everybody been saying at least between five to seven hours. Right. What you get now. So it, it's not that I'm complaining. I'm just comparing apples, to, you know, apples to apples. Right. Um. So it's, See, it's, yeah, it's, one, none, none of us have used the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, unfortunately. Uh, right. Yeah. But I if have, Huawei want to send one us one, one feel free. Because right. I've been wanting to actually try it. Only right. Huawei I've ever used is the Nexus 6P. And it was a dope phone. But that that's phone back was great. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. get off. The, can we talk about this MacBook Pro? We've been talking about this. Damn <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we need to talk about that player. That laptop right now. Oh, that's right, But yeah, that's my top three. Devin, what's your top three real quick before we push? keep it pushing? Top three uh, phones. Top three. Uh, my number three is the Google Pixel. Of course, he would start backwards like that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to build that suspense, man. You know how the videos go. No. Uh, Google Pixel 3. Uh, Google, I said Google Pixel 3. Google Pixel 4 is my number three. Uh, my number two is the iPhone. Uh, it's the iPhone 11 Pro Max because I like the larger phone. And my number one is the Galaxy Fold. Mm. See, I didn't have experience with that. And Hefe is talking about the LGs, which I know they made a lot of noise, but the issue with LG is nobody knows. Yeah. Nobody true. knows. They could come out with the best phone ever made, but if nobody knows about it, then... Even them Sony phones. Sony to experience. Out. Take hint from Google and put them in the creator's hand. They can't because they broke. Uh, uh, <laughs> the, mobile, broke. the mobile division, the of mobile LG division might broke. be broke. I, 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 that's what I said. I said the mobile division. <laughs> hey, LG. <laughs> now, if, if, you want, if you want three phone. creators uh, to review your products, or you know, feel free to send them out. All right, uh, CJ, let's hear yours. I, honestly, I can't really. I, I need to live with the Pixel a little longer to like before, because the Pixel holds a lot of weight with me as far as like the user experience. So I just need to get in it a little more before I like, uh, before I throw the top three. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me live with it just a little bit more. Next stream, I will put it up there. I do think like I, I'm really enjoying the Pixel, man. I didn't think I would this much, but I, I can't seem to put the dang on thing down. I ain't, hey, look, like I posted, I posted my iPhone uh, uh, screen time has went down dramatically, and that's because I'm pulling out the Pixel to use it when I'm doing things because I enjoy it. So, yeah, I want to do it a little bit longer. And it's just like like all the little Google smart features that they, they aren't a big deal, but when you go back to something that doesn't happen where it's it's almost like the, the Pixel is kind of forward thinking for you. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you touch one thing, and the next, the next move it makes is super intuitive. Like I would, I would make that move if I were making the decision. And the Pixel just kind of does this crap for you, which is, yeah, man, it's it's kind of crazy. It's kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of spooky at, at the same time. You know what I'm saying? How far like <clears throat> artificial intelligence and machine learning is going with stuff we have in our pockets, man? It's just nuts. Yeah. It's just nuts. Yeah. All right, all right, but listen, listen. Let's talk about this damn MacBook Pro. All right. <laughs> Man, I think they actually coming out. It ain't time. coming out no time soon. The same way the Galaxy, I mean, exactly. the same way the A7S3 ain't coming no better time soon. Better cop that 2018. Right. <laughs> right. 2018 play. You trying to send back to the <laughs> generation. Let me tell you what, what the thing better have for me to spend my $3,000. Number one, they better put a touchscreen in it. They're not gonna no no no, no, no they're not gonna I do that. Give you that's no ridiculous. Touch You're right, nah, that's ridiculous. Bro. But they at least need to give me an OLED panel. Is that fair? <laughs> Is that fair? The XPS 15 and 16 got OLED panels, man. They gotta they gotta go up the OLED for three thousand dollars base. They gotta go up to OLED. Bro, if they I'm go up to OLED, OLED, if they go up to bro. OLED, the base is gonna be four thousand. <laughs> if they go up to OLED. 
It got to have an SD card slot. I'm not accepting a pro machine no more without an SD card slot. I can Hell agree. no. I can but agree with that. It got. Look, go ahead. I, I, I doubt it. I highly doubt that they're going to give us an SD card slot. They ain't get my money then. Because this this <laughs> a pro machine that, like, I understand compromise, right? I, I, I get it. But that's one thing that every pro user, it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter what you do. You use SD cards. It, but it ain't like the headphone jack. It ain't like the headphone jack where that's debatable. It's being phased out because of Bluetooth and the and the advancement of Bluetooth. It ain't like that. SD cards are still here to stay. Here's what Apple should do. I mean, obviously they wouldn't because this ain't Apple style. They got to charge you for it. But there should be a complimentary, uh, like a, a side piece, like a dongle, but not with the wire, but like something that's like. Yeah, like um, they like we got the one dongles from the one company that actually plugs into the side of it. Yeah, yeah. it's a techie or whatever. Like if they did something like that or a team up with a techie and just put that joint in a box because and then give the people their SD card. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I want it built in, man. I'm gonna be honest. I, I it ain't man. gonna happen, bro. You the, with that? You look in the inside of a MacBook Pro and how tight the space ain't no is. Room. No way. Oh, it's not no room. Because, no room. Because Huawei, Huawei has a machine that is literally. If you don't believe me, go that ask. Huawei one actually. Yeah, go cool. ask Unlocker. Right. Huawei makes a MacBook X that is literally the same dimensions as the MacBook Pro. Guess what it's got, player? Think about what they did. When they designed it, they made sure they etched it. Like, all right, look at Apple. Like, all they do is they got a design and it's working. They're not going to go redesign because that's going to cost mad money. They're just trying to repump out the same design. Like, look, the 16-inch is going to be a 15-inch with a bigger... The only part they got changed is the upper part. I'm pretty sure the bottom part gonna be the same. If they smart, like if, I mean, business wise, to keep the money rolling, keep the same thing. But I would absolutely love an SD card slot as well. Um, but realistically, <laughs> I don't think we're getting it. <laughs> they, they better not have a model with integrated graphics. Or I'm gonna walk down to Apple and smack everybody there. <laughs> they better not have that. <clears throat> and and honestly, man, I know they're not gonna do this. This is just me having wishful thinking. Let, let, let like make the Apple modular again, man. Make it modular again. Oh, you know where, you ain't getting. That. I know, and I just said <laughs> that, Devin. I know, but, but it's just retarded, man. You the same RAM that I can go to Micro Center, the exact same RAM, and get for three hundred dollars cheaper. It's it's oh, the number one thing I want is uh I want better cooling. Like I I think that's what they need mm -hmm. to do. I think they need to address cooling. But I I mean obviously we're not gonna get a redesign. It looks like it's gonna be the fifteen inch body with yep. the upper part but uh yeah I, I think if they cooled their machines a little like and get, i don't know man that's what i think they need to do because then we could get even the performance is good though like at the end of the day we could fuss and moan and complain about macbook pros but the way they optimizing them man and even the base model bro i've you seen me i've oh, yeah. <laughs> model macbook pro 13 inch no bells no whistles the absolute yeah. bottom and i've been able to travel and uh edit 4k footage like like Bro, i'm on a base eight i'm on a base 18 and i fly through 4k without you're not on that base base not on the two oh no yeah you on that yeah, you, you on a dual core machine right it, no it ain't no dual core though because they put the new chips and that's the whole point with the new chips like the abilities of these devices regardless if you got the big boy or the small boy they're very <laughs> so I mean, at the end of the day, man, MacBook Pros do what it do. I want the 16 inch though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I want it, but they so here's the thing. You're gonna have to get a whole new backpack. <laughs> Bro, they got, yeah, they gotta put a better camera. I'm sick of and this I, I get it because you can't put a there it is. Of the, no, I don't I don't care, man. Three hot three thousand dollars So, so, so how how often do you use your laptop camera now? I'm using it right now. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. And, and, and I wait, wait, I get it, I get it. There's the only so good bad, of a camera. It ain't, it ain't good either. Oh, wait, my uh, cell phone got better quality than this. I have a comparison live because right now I'm using the Pixelbook Go's camera. <laughs> it's a plug. Right. It, it is, but it's ten. <laughs> and I've been waiting, man. And the, oh, I I'm gonna talk about it in the video. I already did, but like, cause you know, MacBook, they still giving us these damn 720p's. Yep. It's, Even though, that, that's my problem. 
and it's not about resolution. It's about the quality of the sensor. If it, they could slap a 4K sensor here and say it's 4K. If it's crap, it's still crap. Don't I don't matter. understand why they don't give us the same cameras they put in their phones. This is what I, that's the part I don't understand. Yep. I get the size constraint. I get that they want it to be as thin as possible. So they can't put maybe a big, uh, you know, a thick sensor in there. But they, they've also figured out a way to squeeze three sensors into a platter. You know, they, they can do it. That's the whole point I'm trying yeah, to make. Yeah, they can do Quit it. Quit giving me freaking... 20 the 10-bit 720 webcam in my two thousand dollar computer. That's the whole point I'm trying to make. Nine thousand percent. I'm in agreement yeah. with you. So <laughs> and somebody said the gigabyte arrow 15 is the best laptop for creators. No, it ain't because creators use Mac player. That's that, that yeah. we ain't about to get into this PC versus Windows. If it ain't player. if it ain't Mac, I don't yeah, you can't even listen. Talk to I don't me. care how much better, <laughs> I don't care how much better the hardware is. I don't care if that joint can process Devin. And CJ's hairline at the same time. <laughs> if it ain't running Mac OS, I'm not messing with it when it comes to my creative stuff. I can't I, say that. I can't say that. So switch the Windows then. No, I can't, no, I, bro, I, can't then. I can't say that because there are some good. Like the, I'm gonna be honest. Like the Surface, I really want a Surface, bro. Like if yeah, but it's hindered surface, by the OS. I'm gonna put it this way. I'm gonna put this. Money on? Huh? He said what? Are you gonna spend your money on no, the Surface? Me, oh, on the Surface. No, because I already got a laptop. I don't need one. <laughs> Man, you already know. Uh, but if you could, would you go spend your money on one? Uh, I'm put it this way. Before I actually bought my MacBook Pro, it was it was between that and the uh, and the Surface. I'll put it that way. It was a tough decision. But you the lie. only reason I didn't is because I was already embedded in the ecosystem of Apple. So it made sense for what I do. <laughs> Listen, but, the surface. No, the surface bro, the is surface a pretty machine. It, this, don't get me wrong. The it is still at the end the of the needs. day. It's still at the end of the day. Windows ten. And let me. The reason true. why I'm saying that. True. I don't care if you put God's hardware into <laughs> a Windows machine. Guess what? You're still gonna have. You're still gonna have freaking nightly Windows updates but, in the middle of your. Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you still, you're still going to have blue screen. I ain't going to lie. They have an update like every two days. <laughs> like, Probably an update for update for update. What are we well, Windows has so many patches. It's not even funny. Right, every time got, I got on that <laughs> computer to stream, yeah, I had updates, bro. Like, when you still got to deal with, you still got to deal with Java problems. You still got to deal with driver hardware incompatibilities. Hey, look, yeah. hey, hey, got thing about right, going right. Right. Devin, answer the Rosilla's question right now because we on, need what he say. What he say? Answer oh. the question, Devin. Answer the mother. Devin, right. I don't know what's going on with Devin, man. All right, what he say? Devin, get a weird place. Right <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's talk about that real quick. Uh, real, real quick, real quick. It ain't gonna be long. So when we was up at uh, we was up. Shout out to JD. I just saw he up in here. What up, JD? What up, JD? So we were over. Bad, to baby, make a from the day. <laughs> <laughs> so we. <laughs> So we was over, we was over at TLD in them studios, you know, hanging out. Cool Kevin. people over there. Oh, Kevin, what up? What, Kevin, what up? What up? So, so the video that was shot at the studios, <sighs> it was very time sensitive to put out. No, it wasn't. No, nah, bro. It's, <laughs> for, no, it wasn't. He lied. Look at his eyebrows. He lied. No, I'm no. telling you, it was time no, sensitive. It wasn't. No, it was not. You gotta build it. You gotta keep the hype. All no, of that. You time sensitive, bro. <laughs> So Kevin, no, Mike. no, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why because I have other projects that are kind of uh -huh. in back order and in, in the backlog that I have no. to get out. And so that video in particular, I was like, I gotta get this out so that can be so that can be done. So nah. I didn't have time at that point <laughs> to because JD sent me this dope video, and I've actually watched half of you. I haven't watched all of it. I will say I watched half of them, but I will say this. Hey, Devin proud the next video. Hold on. I will say this. My next video, which I'm gonna be shooting, the the Apple AirPods will be shot. Will be actually edited in Final Cut. 100. percent It will be edited in Final Cut. Cause I did put it on my my iMac that I'm on right now, and it did work. I put Listen, some 4K man. footage on there, and it did work. Listen. So it will be. I will be making the switch to Final Cut Pro to answer. Crazy Rozilla's question. Good. Good. <laughs> Finally, but the video that I did was time sensitive. I had to get. I wanted to get that out because I got to move on to some other stuff. Because we don't need behind. to go back to the whole yeah. Final Cut versus Premiere. But just no, no, know. we got no. But yeah. I'll be honest, man. From what I learned, hey, 
I, I, yeah, hey, go go say it. Say it. I, hey, I, I, I count. I, I, hey, I count the losses, man. You know, it's a better. It's a better tool. It is. It is a better tool. When you're yeah. using the Mac, let me just throw. When you're using Mac, yeah, yeah, because you can't get Final Cut on the Windows machine unless you want to boot camp, and then it still don't work right, y'all. Just all right. So, um, I'm glad you finally grew up. Grew a pair, Devin. <laughs> Came over to the dark side. What Kevin talking about? CES. If Marquez gets that room again, send me the invite. Yeah, JD. Yeah, somebody send me the invite to that too. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I'm gonna leave y'all alone because I was about to. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be at CES too, bro. No, I know I'm gonna be at CES. Yeah, we gonna we gonna make sure you at CES. I'm, I'm already working on that player. I already got uh, a few. That, uh, Terry gonna be and popped up. We gonna be left behind. I see. <laughs> Yeah, um, Kevin says someone once told me the best Windows machine is a Mac. Is boot? It still don't run the same. It doesn't. When you when you boot camp a Windows machine, you're still missing a lot of, like, without getting too technical. There's still a lot of stuff that's that that happens underneath the hood that you that doesn't work right. Yo, um, why the yep. shutting down JD and Crazy Razzle? What kind of symbols y'all spamming? The bot is on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing them over there, man. Hey, we got a thug bot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't play. <laughs> we got a bot slapping everybody. Right. Yeah, we, we got a thug bot, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I think like like JD said, like I really don't, I really don't give a shit what you use, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the before, yes, ma'am. Terry about to get a whooping over no, there. No, she man. making taco <laughs> salad, and I'm about to ditch all of y'all because I'm <laughs> I like drink cooking. Uh, no, 100%, JD. Final Cut minutes. workflow is crazy. Yeah. It's definitely better. No doubt. I just got to learn it all first. It's actually very easy to use, man. And that's the thing. Like, a couple, once you learn a couple keystrokes, you, you can even do it without the keystrokes, honestly. In the but beginning, for learning, me, it was actually learning the setup, like the project setup and getting that philosophy down. I think that was the first thing that I needed to kind of master. Cause it is different than Premiere when it comes to that. Yeah, it's totally different. Yeah, I think I'm. Um, what else? What other hardware? I'm not. I'm not buying. I'm not buying the the, the AirPods, man. It, it's not gonna happen. Two fifty. You know what I could do with that? I'm gonna be honest. Like, I've spent that on the original AirPods, so I can't even com complain. Really, like it is high. But I've spent that on. They the last you for a long time, and you you did use them every single day. So yeah, but I lost them like and had to rebuy them. Well, you, that's <laughs> you're just an idiot. Well, I don't spend. I don't already spent that on the first gen. So that's, that's my thing on the two fifty though. Like people, I mean, it's two hundred for the regular ones with the wireless charging case. So I mean, it's like fifty away. Nobody complained about Powerbeats Pro pricing for the most part. It seemed like, and nobody complained about Powerbeats Pro having Pro on them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, um, they did. A lot of people complaining about the pro model. I don't care did. about pro. Though. No, about it saying pro though. <laughs> Not that it said pro because everything that Apple put pro on lately is just a it's a mockery and uh, it is because it's not pro. A pair a pair of like a pair of Harvey's pro. So define not pro. somebody define pro. No, no. First of all, everybody. Okay, somebody is pro. You walk into pro. professional studios and see them sitting there on Power Beach Pros. First of all, pro does not mean professional in the terms of how Apple uses it. Well, that's because they. To me, I'm like, I don't really care about the name of the product. It could be called battery power, whatever. It could be called, I don't know, whatever. It could be called wood chips. And I still, buy, I don't really care. Word. I don't care about the product. Yeah, I don't care about the name. Flows better than premium. If it say, uh, who gonna be walking around AirPods Premium? Like, <laughs> I got them premies. <laughs> hey, like I got that premium gray T-shirt on. <laughs> premium, like get out of here. I don't know, make the sense. name and the me really don't care. I really don't care about the name. Um, I just care about what the product can do. Period. If the I don't get hung up on pro, not pro, whatever is. Does it? Can it do what I need it to do? If you can, cool. Something about the power, about power Beast Pro selling at that price because Power Beast been Beats by Dre, whatever. Hey, look, man, I, I you know what? I'm gonna shut up. I'm not even gonna go there on the Beats by Dre. I'm gonna. Just oh, I'm so ahead. sick of Beats by Dre. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna chill. They need to refund me every dollar. All them crap headphones they put out that I kept buying like an idiot. What? Hey, fact, uh, Kevin, the uh, active noise cancellation is dope. 
Now, listen, not, I, the, the technology that I've seen so far in new AirPods, like, again, I, it's unbelievable what Apple and Google are doing with software. Um, so I'm not disputing that. It's just I'm not paying no 250 for no headphones. I don't I care if Jesus that. made them. Anybody puts that as their reason, I respect that. But uh, the fact of the matter is the AirPods Pro is an improvement from AirPods. Like, and that's what it's all about. It's just a, it's an improvement. So if you're looking for an improvement, like the people who complain about AirPods, well, hey, here's an answer that has an improvement. Try these out. And, yeah. you know, if they want to try them, they try them. If not, then, hey, you know. I'm just hoping they don't hurt my ear. I haven't had them have had them in yet, but like I always, for some reason, my right ear was always never like fit perfect with the with the first gen. And see, that's what I don't like about Apple headphones. Like I like yeah, headphones that plug in, mm. not sit right on the you know sit right there between that circular part right there. That's I'm where hyped. I'm hyped to try them out. I'm I'm hoping. I'm well, hoping I mean, you gotta put it right in front of you. I gotta wait till I gotta wait to actually put it on camera. I'm filming. <laughs> I got a whole I got a whole video idea. Uh, he, what y'all got, 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 got coming up, and then we'll get some ideas for next week, and then we'll we'll let it roll. Hold on, we talked about people. What's, what's, what's the comment? What? what people talk about in the comments? They ain't talk about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, not playing. Hey, hey, he ain't got you said it right. Pro is All the right, new Kev, We'll see you, bro. One hundred thousand percent. Later, Kev. Slow mo just for you, dog. Like that can get said. They're AirPods. That's it. I, I agree to that. Uh, I don't What's think the we price of the other one. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, versus, I said no blur, Terry. No, we don't stream yard play. They don't. They don't give us that advanced stuff. <laughs> I mean, we we basically back in the hood, man. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't pro. <laughs> yeah, it, ain't, it ain't pro, dog. It ain't Skype. Pro. It ain't even premium. <laughs> nah. It ain't it ain't even for but what y'all what y'all got working? Nah, this on, an man? upgrade, brother. We ain't dropped like drop yet. Yeah, it, we have it, man. I mean, but we still we like we are like in the more reliable cars just ugly. This is StreamYard Pro, yo. What are y'all talking about? Uh no, I mean what projects y'all got? What what y'all working on? And I got so many things to review. I gotta review uh this laptop I'm on. I mean, I just gotta drop some drop content on that. So like this uh Pixel Book Go. I got this microphone I'm going to eventually be doing. Um, a lot of camera content coming. Uh, a lot of content, man. A lot of content. So Okay. That's real descriptive. What about you, Devin? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think of it all right now. Uh, I got a lot, man. Um, oh, okay. What up? <laughs> no, man, I got the AirPods. I'm filming them tonight. Hopefully, I can get that out either tomorrow. Um I know that's you know probably hopefully get them out tomorrow. Uh, I filmed the Galaxy Fold video. Um, I just got to edit it. So I gotta did you buy one of those, Devin? Uh, no. <laughs> I think well, he lied. Nah, he didn't buy that. No, nah, no, nah, I didn't buy it. Oh. Um, but I gotta get that. I, I actually filmed that already. I gotta get that out. I got some other stuff, man. I gotta get out. But just stick to the channel. I got some dope, dope stuff coming. I'm actually sick of making tech content right now. I'm, I'm teched out, man. Now, hold on. Let me just say something to Terry, man. Listen, brother. You man, hey, look, come on, man. I know you're about to dog me. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Why don't you just come on, man? Why, why are we not getting that Terry sauce, bro? Like, just go on, take the leap, <laughs> and start putting out the Terry sauce, bro. Because I'm watching people blow up. I'm watching, like, creators that, like, like you should be, like, I'm watching creators take it. I don't know, bro. Like, I'm watching creators no, take what advantage. What you got to say, man. <laughs> what you should be taking advantage of, bro. Like you no, have put it out there. Go ahead, go ahead. So you me. got the talent to put this sauce out, bro, and be like a, a, a camera guru out here, man. And you yep. playing, bro. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pushing Terry until I start <laughs> seeing that Terry sauce camera wise. Like I see Listen, you though. I see you pushing on the IG and stuff. It's I coming, just need some videos. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, because Terry really has like the knowledge and the uh the talent to like really go in that space. And I think he should. Like I, I get it. He's gonna hang down here with us on the tech space, but like really if he go to the option he go to, he's gonna be acting, he's gonna be acting funny all of a sudden. He be like, oh, those little guys down there. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, little man? He be like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, so listen, this is where since I'm, I have an answer mine. Um, I have like, I still enjoy tech. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> I, I, I've been trying to like focus more what I'm doing. 
Uh, but I didn't want to make it like an abrupt change. You know what I'm saying? I know some people like Armando did it abruptly where he just switched from like tech to all cameras. That's cool. But me, I would like to kind of progress to it. You know what I'm saying? Because I still like, you know, reviewing phones. I still like the cameras and stuff on phones. Um, but I am venturing more into that, um, into that filmmaking, um, you know, camera space, just because I think it's, I think it's more value there. You know what I'm saying? For me, like being able to make videos that actually evoke emotion out of people. And, uh, I just love cameras. So that's, if y'all haven't been able to tell, I'm not sure, you know, you, you, you may or may not watch my content. If you do great, if not, I don't give a shit, but it's, it's going that direction. So with, with all that being said, uh, I don't really want to be in the same space as Peter McKinnon and all that. I want my own space, dog, and that's what I'm about to open up. So make it happen. Yeah, I just I just want you to do like what you do and just do it, you know, and do it more. That's basically all I'm all I'm saying because I think once you do that, I think you're gonna really open up. But we talked about this earlier today, like creating for yourself, you know what I'm saying, versus creating because you want to create the right stuff for the algorithm you know that it's a hard balance man it's not even just that's the audience too it's like you know people want to people only watch what they want to see so you know it's either you create for what people want to see or you kind of create what you want to do and everyone might not want to see that that's really what it comes down to i'm really getting into like my if like uh, these i've been in my creative bag man my last few videos like some of them have done well but like I kind of just said, review the cameras like that. My last few cell phone reviews have only been about the cameras of the phone. So, like I said, it's it's already going there. It's just you know, <clears throat> I don't know. It's something about, um, like I've been saying, like yo, I got to get the 10k. Like I just feel like the pressure is on now. I haven't been taking it as serious as I should. You know, I got a lot of challenges. I got a lot of kids. We got stuff going on. So. To be honest, it's, it's hard, man. And that's not an excuse because everybody got shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got life going on. Everybody got multiple business ventures. But for me, it's been... Um, did this, this turn into a Terry Confessional? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> like, that's what the Cafe is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll go with it. So for me, it's just been difficult because I know... Like, I, I, I know... I won't say standard of quality, but I like my videos to look... I'll just say like this, right? And that's hard for me to do when I got 10,000 other things going on over here. It's hard for me to focus on that with that quality stand that I want while still maintaining all of this stuff over here. So the options were, you know, either bring that from up here down to here so that you can pump out more content and maybe it's not as polished, maybe it's not as engaging or just keep at the pace you're going and try to put hey, as best as you can. value will override all that quality crap like at the uh -oh. point siri by mistake what what happened <laughs> yeah oh, i'm just saying i think if you just offer the value and the knowledge like people uh, kind of look past like you know if i don't think people should be snobbish about like quality and stuff like if you're giving that value then the value is what's gonna be king so i mean put that sauce on and uh get that value and that knowledge you got so you build the audit uh, you know, you build people to know you for your value, and then once you start putting that soft sauce, they already know they there. The problem is, I have myself, like Joan just said, stop feeling like you have to justify why you create. I mean, that's that's a part of it. Part of it is just like you know, taking the shackles off and just doing what you want to do, and that's that's where I'm going. So, like, I'm <clears throat> obviously, if I can find a creative way to you know include some type of tech because it's searchable i'm still gonna do that because i still like reviewing tech too but like it, i'm at the point now it's like this next video the next video the word video i'm working on right now is like y'all y'all will see but i appreciate that dog it's coming i'm working on it i know i've been waiting i'm ready i'm ready for it Ter so. terry has a lot of knowledge y'all like yes, i don't know <laughs> Terry has a yeah. crazy amount of knowledge. She just says she got taco salad and coffee on. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to have a lot of knowledge, but being able to relay that to people is a different story. You know what I'm saying? That's just like, like with me, you when we having these talks where y'all bouncing questions off me, that's easy. Putting that knowledge into something structured that's consumable to people that people can actually digest 
and are willing to pay for is a totally different animal. You know what I'm saying? But so, that's why you start doing it and then you figure it out along the way. Just like we did with all of this, how you built, where you got. You started doing it and you figured it out along the way and then you 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 know, you know polish it. So that's what I'm just saying. Just get out there. Put out I, the crap now so that you can polish that joint up and drop the fire later. <laughs> Iconic said, I'm sitting back in the cut waiting for Terry to stop playing. All right, man. It was these little teasers like Thank the dog video. Yeah, the bike right, video was dope. Yeah, it, I like that video a lot. But y'all just reinforcing stuff I already know, man. It's just it's grind time. That's, at the end of the day, all the excuses in the world don't matter. It's the same thing I preach to everybody else around me, people in my family, friends. Like, I don't give a shit about the excuses, man. You're either going to do it or you're not. And it's, you know, it's that time. Yeah. It's that time. Yep. What we want to talk about next week, man? Uh, ask the people what they want. Uh, I, we, you know what, we didn't. Um, <clears throat> um, we did not talk about what I want to talk about. People, Which, what? Y'all know what Y'all know what I want to talk about. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Terry? The same thing we want to talk about every time that we never talk about. What is? What is that? You know, last week, no, the last stream was supposed to be about the challenges of being a um, a creator of a certain. Why are you pulling the knife out? What's that all about? <laughs> about to cut somebody. Right. <laughs> like... uh, I I just think I think it, I think we should have that conversation about what it's like being a color creator, what it's like being a creator. You know, being a woman, being a whatever the case may be in the minority as a content creator, I think it's something that will be very helpful for people who are considering becoming creators. Um, and a lot of people that might be creators that won't come out their show because they think that people might look at them a certain way or they might be perceived a certain way, X, Y, Z. So that's my, that's my, you know, entry, you know, everybody else can put their own in. Joan, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um. All right, we just gonna stare at each other like somebody. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm hungry like you play. I'm, I'm over here <laughs> trying to figure I'm, out. I'm over here like <laughs> what? My next I don't, I don't got tacos cooking. Yo, I, I, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, man, uh, yeah, we can have that combo. And then if anybody else got anything they want to offer up, we'll do that. But yeah, we can talk about it. Why not? Let's get it out because Terry been wanting to talk about this <laughs> for a while. Uh, yeah, I actually want to bring somebody else on. I just don't know who yet. But I, I would like to bring at least one other person on that could give us a different perspective. I just don't know who. So maybe maybe we can put it at that. If, um, you know, nominate somebody that maybe you think would be a good candidate to come talk about, um, you know, being a content creator in a minority of whatever it is you're a minority in, don't nominate yourself. Um, but I think maybe that's something, you know, maybe that's something we could do. I'm with it. Hey, uh, that's, that's next week's stream. Hey, look, we at the minute 07 mark. This is only supposed to be an hour. You know what I mean? Uh, players is hungry. We pretty much got the topic for next week. I know we've been inconsistent, but we back now. We back, man. man. We back. Yeah. Hey, Devin, you, you messing up the flow with that, uh, <laughs> that Ninja Turtle shirt on, man. Next week, you got to put hey, the man. great sweater on. Hey man, this is my softball shirt, brother. Softball? Hey man, softball, I thought it was <laughs> the wrecking crew, man. We was, we was the champs, bro. No, y'all, no, y'all no, wasn't. <laughs> no. Hey man, yeah, don't hate, brother. No, Ooh, all, all right. right. All right man. John is a double minority. Please explain. Oh, because she's a woman and a black. Oh, black oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yeah, that's yeah. Good that's point. If she, if she could actually make it to oh, stream, that's you know. that's a tough one, man. Because that's a tough topic because we can go on. We can go so many different ways. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we go so many. Different yeah, we're gonna have to that. narrow it down. Yeah, we got to narrow that down. Yeah, we gonna have to like a lot of stuff that can go with that dealing with life. But that's why I wanna. That's why I wanna had a discussion because like we we teeter on the stuff that we talk about. Like you know when we started Creator Cafe, we said and we this is a moment of a moment of clarity for Creator Cafe. We said that we wanted to be the transparent group of people for creators that. Are upcoming and and there's stuff that we haven't talked about because of whatever the reason. So 
This is a personal challenge to both of you. Man, Terry, look, we talking about next week, so we get this over with. We get this out of the game. Uh, you know what I mean? Get this over. We get Terry to let it out, and we let it out, and then we move on to the next thing. So, I kind of mized. Was that funny? No, just playing. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Big <Tyler> Tello here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big right, let's man. Come on, man. Let's go, man. We dragging this on. All right, let's go, all right, man. All right, all right, all right. Much love right. Thank you to everybody Appreciate that y'all. Stopped, stopped through, came through, man. Peace, Jake Grease, Terry Warfield. I'm out. Peace. Peace. Oh, I got, I got to get off the street.